I would tell that many people were convinced in February that Fed rate hike impacts the euro dollar. But uh, this is a myth. So Diana, welcome and thank you for joining us on the line. Now 2017 has been a really interesting year for investors, but what have been some of the biggest FX movers that we've seen so far this year? Hi Jessica, I'm sure that for many investors the biggest FX surprise of 2017 was definitely the euro dollar, the most important and the most traded currency pair on the planet. So most of the investors at the beginning of this year were convinced that uh, euro dollar will go to parity. And what was so interesting about the movements that we saw, you mentioned that you, people were expecting it to go to parity, but in fact it didn't really do so. So what movements did we see? Okay, so let's go through it step by step. Firstly, uh, let's go back to the beginning of the year. In February, ahead of Fed minutes, euro dollar was trading at 105 around this. And the market was talking about the parity and there was a cluster of uncertain events. But at the time when the market was talking about the parity, I said also in an interview for Dukascopy that euro dollar will be moving flat to up from this level. Particularly, I mentioned the range uh, 104 to 111.50 and exactly this happened. I would tell that many people were convinced in February that Fed rate hike impacts the euro dollar, but uh, this is a myth. I asked to do a study explaining if and how much the Fed fund affects the, the dollar, and the answer is not much, less than 2%. So this means that 98% of dollar movements are due to other factors than uh, than Fed. And, you know, in fact, many people were surprised to see the dollar coming down after the rate hike, but the study clearly shows that this was and still is a myth. So this was the, like, I would tell the, the first mistake. Then secondly, in the year of elections in Europe, many people believe that political uncertainty was supposed to be negative for Europe. But again, this did not happen. In fact, many, many events, many big events have uh, different, I would say like many such events, like such important events have different impacts than those previously expected. Like uh, I would tell the Trump victory. If you remember, the bourses were supposed to dive after that event, but in fact, we could see a pretty big rally. Then later ahead, uh, in a year, we had a we had a French elections. At the time, I I recommended to do also in an interview for Ducascopy to do long gamma strategy, which again showed to be a good choice. And then Euro continued its its rally. So I mean, now we are in November. Uh, there was a lot of speculation on the Euro this year, which according to me, seems to lose power in September. And uh, the investor should be prepared to see a down move. Actually, it has started already. So what is my view? In the coming weeks, I believe the euro will struggle to go much about 120, 121. And very probably we will see the return uh, of euro dollar towards the range one, uh, 150 to 108 from where the French rally started. So I would definitely advise a strategy with, uh, with a bearish bias. And also focusing, you mentioned the euro there, but the euro against the pound has also showed similar surprising movements. Well, in fact, <laughs> not really, at least uh, not for me. The negative uh, trend for uh, pound has been said already before, and the view on pound is not very positive, also due to Brexit negotiations. So we all know Britons decided how they decided, and there will be not a very easy period for, for the economy, neither for the Britons. So, I mean, um, 
all the things with uh, with wages stagnating, not coming back to the levels as before the 2007 and all these things. I, I don't want to repeat myself. We, we read it every day. So even if I see the weaker euro against the dollar in relationship to GB, GDP, GBP <laughs> to the pound, the, the euro will rise. So in the, in the coming weeks, we might see some retest of uh, 0 0.88, 0 0.87 levels. But my view from, uh, from actual level is flat to up. So towards uh, 0 0.92 and uh, 0 0.94, due to what I mentioned, but mostly due to trade flows and uh, speculations. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the line to provide your insights. Thank you for having me, Jessica. You're very welcome. Well, that's all from us here in the Geneva Studios, but we want to hear how you found this interview, so please do like and comment on dukascopy.tv.